Hello! Today's video I'm going to be redrawing an old drawing that I did about six years ago back in March of 2012. It's different style of Toadette from Mario and I found it and I thought it was cool but that and it had more potential and I could recreate it now and make it even better. I decided to do it digitally in my in a program that I use called Clip Studio Paint. Uh, it has a really cool feature where you can have like posable art models. So I used one of the base ones and changed it a little bit. I actually do that before recording so it's pretty much set up already. But I'm thinking of having a video in the future about um, cool things in Clip Studio that I didn't know about and <laughs> didn't use, but now that I am know about it and use it, it's I feel like helped me to be better. So I plan on making a video about that in the future. But I basically used the model to trace over to choose as a reference. Um, and I'm obviously doing her in a very different pose from before I thought I could. She's still holding the Luma, but I thought I could make the pose more interesting, so I had her lying on the ground. I was originally going to have her in a bed, and I looked at pictures of a toad world, a mushroom kingdom, but I couldn't, and I was... I was gonna make like mushroom themed pillows and stuff. It was gonna be super cute, and I, I just it just ended up looking weird, and I I couldn't I don't know I didn't have enough vision in my mind. I could have probably pulled it off if I had more vision, but my brain was just like a blob, and I was just like oh let's just scrap it all. I'm gonna make her outside laying on the grass. So <laughs> I start I just deleted it all, and then I start drawing that instead. Drawing little flowers, things like that as well. Oh, also, I'm so sorry about um, the clicks being highlighted. I could swear I unchecked the clicks being highlighted and did all practice recordings, and there wasn't any highlighted clicks. But then I went to edit this, and there was all the highlighted clicks, and. I was so upset, but I still wanted to make this video, and I couldn't re-record it. I mean, I already drew the picture, so <laughs> it's how it is now. Hopefully, it's not too irritating and ma to make the video unwatchable. <laughs> Next time, I'm going to really super check that the clips clicks aren't highlighted. <laughs> it is so, it is so weird today, but it's, I live in Texas, but it's, it's been snowing a lot this year and it's all snowy today and like frozen rain. Yes, I'm talking about the weather <laughs> in this drawing video, okay? Because I didn't want the whole video to be in super duper speed and I didn't know what to say. I didn't want it to be random awkward silence. I, I try to keep my layers organized sometimes I'm really bad about it and then sometimes I'm good about it I feel like I was pretty good about it when I did this picture I'm getting better about keeping my layers organized and not just having a bajillion unnamed layers all a mess and then there's clicking and unclicking like making them invisible and uninvisible to try to figure out where in the world everything is and what's happening I wanted to do something a little bit different with this picture I usually do like hard inking black outlines but I wanted to make it softer and have just soft colored outlines try to I don't know do something different and maybe do it and maybe it'll be awesomer that way <laughs> I'm also I'm trying to get a lot better at color so I use that picture of the flowers in the corner actually to be as my color base of how light and color is basically reflecting on them as my base of for the color of the whole picture <laughs> once i feel like i really got color down and i really got oh a, a, a lot better i want to do a video about color because i i feel like i'm learning a lot about it and getting better at it and that it's really 
I don't know, important <laughs> if you're doing painting and stuff like that to really understand. And I was not understanding or doing a good job before. I was getting lucky sometimes, but yeah. Um, for videos, I was doing a video every Friday. I was trying to at least for a while. I don't know if you f if you follow my channel, you might know, but um, I decided that I want to try to do videos every other Friday because. I've been doing lots of commissions and being on and off sick a lot, so I think doing a video every other Friday might be a better plan, because I still want to keep doing videos, but I need to make a more reasonable schedule for myself so that I can actually do it and do all my other things I need to do as well. Before, um, I used to do coloring more in like bunches of different layers, but I noticed it's actually better to do it more in one layer uh, because you can blend stuff together then if it's in the same layer and things can be, I don't know, sort of mixed and look a little bit more natural because I don't like things looking super digital actually and things looking a little bit more natural and doing it more in one, one layer makes makes that happen um i do i have these two layers on the side uh where i have like the more color layer and then the layer where it's like the darkened color lines on the edges which i guess you could sort of call the inking like i usually do but it's it's not also i didn't do it in this picture but lately i've been um, coloring backgrounds first and then the people and it's been I feel like helping coloring the people better like I can get the people to be the right color for the atmosphere instead of looking like they're just sort of pasted in but I sort of started coloring her first and that just didn't really happen also it was so laggy when I was trying to do the grass strokes. This, this is a problem sometimes doing like the blendy brushes really big on a large, uh, on a dimensions of a canvas that's like a decent size at all. It just lags so irritatingly. <laughs> but uh, drawing all the grass was fun, <laughs> even even though it was being laggy, but. Cause you don't really have to think about it that hard. You just sort of can be like la 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 la, drawing all the grass. So what's nice about plants? They're just they they can be really different. <laughs> so either, I don't know, fun to draw more than buildings. A lot of people like to draw buildings and things like that, but buildings sometimes stress me out because I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get this line just right and that line just right or else it's going to look terrible. It's going to look like a blob. But then with plants, you can just sort of wean it and it can still look good. <laughs> a lot of people don't like drawing people because they say they're really hard. People can be hard, but I still really like drawing them a lot. I think I like them because people have a lot of personality of course when you draw them. Oh my goodness, I drew so many different um, flowers, like sakura flowers on this tree that I'm honestly, I crop out a lot of it because I just do it so many different ways. I don't want to show it all to you. And you just be like, oh my gosh, she keeps changing it, oh my gosh, why? So you'll see some of the ways, because I go back and forth, work changing the tree and then go do something else, but I don't, you, you, you're not going to be burdened <laughs> with all, all the tree experimentation that I do. That's one thing that's nice about digital, you can experiment doing lots of different ways of how things could look. Well, if you do that traditional, then then while well, you do it that way and that's how it is <laughs> you're not changing it now 
But then you can also spend forever working on something and never make up your mind. All those pink flowers on the ground um, was originally supposed to be like soccer leaves that fell from the tree onto the ground, but I don't think it looks like that at all. It looks more like um, pink flowers that are growing there. But I was just like, eh, whatever. It doesn't have to be sucker leaves on the ground. <laughs> it, it's fine that way. It looks good still. Oh, for the shadows, I'm trying to um, utilize things in digital, like the multiple layer functions. So I used, um, I picked a color and then uh, did multiply. So the multiply layer and turn down the transparency so that it was more looking like a shadow. I do that again for uh, the shadow. Eventually, eventually we'll get there. Eventually. I really like how this picture is like turning out I think it looks really nice flowery and happy I started experimenting with a different layer um, la 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 different layer the way you can do layers <laughs> uh, with one of the flowers and I make it look really weird I do it for like way too long so I cropped some of it out <laughs> But yeah, I felt like I wanted flowers on the tree, but I wanted flowers on the ground, but then there was just so much flowers that it was just like, it just looked like a big pink blob. <laughs> so that's why I just kept, I kept changing the tree flowers so much. But I, here I am eventually, I vent, this is the way I do the flowers that I actually stick with, which very subtle little little bits of flowers there's hardly any left because they all fell to the ground maybe with those other pink flowers that are already there in this grassy field i used actually a lot of different um brushes making this picture i usually just pick one or two brushes that i sort of stick with um just just like one or two of my oil paint brushes uh, or just use a side brush because I got a side brush downloaded and I really like it but I actually used a lot of brushes in this one and I think it gave it a lot of cool nice versatile textures and my my, my picture um, kept like zooming out and like flipping around like crazy when I didn't want it to I don't know if I have like a touch screen problem <laughs> or something. So sorry if that like gives you a brain headache. It was giving it was annoying me. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and if you do shadows, I would suggest making them darker at first when you draw them instead of keeping them so light cuz you can hardly see what you're doing and then you make it look kind of weird. Cause that's what I did. <laughs> so that's why I, I redraw them again. This redraw of like old 2012 art went a lot better than the dragon one. The dragon one I was having so many problems. The boy at the beach with the dragon. Oh my goodness. This one went so much better. Maybe because I've gotten better either that or it's a lot less complicated. I think this one's a lot less complicated. It's just a girl there. The other one had a freaking dragon and I suck at dragons. At the end, I re uh, I mess with the colors, like the tints of the colors, but I don't end up using that. I end up, I just stick with the original colors I did anyway, so. Bleh. <laughs> and here's a finished picture. All done, Toadette, all nice and cute. And her pretty little flowers. So here's the pic transformation of the picture before and the picture now. Alright, I have two other pictures, also from 2012, a girl with black birds and a girl with star glasses. 
and you can vote basically let me know in the comments which one you would like to see me recreate next and let me know if you liked this video and let me know if you like toad out with pink flowers all right i hope you have a super great day bye